Tired of not getting the tips that you deserve? Well, let's talk about some of the shit that you should not be doing while you're driving in your rideshare business. Welcome to My Max Drive. Hey, Max Drivers, welcome to My Max Drive, where I try to give you tips and tricks that help you make more money in your rideshare business. That is like magic. Today, we're going to cover something super simple, so obvious, but yet so many of us do it. Oh, yeah, I could do it. And I can tell you firsthand as a passenger, it pisses me off to the point that I won't tip a driver because of it. Piss, 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 piss. Mind you, I'm a driver myself. And if I won't tip because of this, imagine somebody who's just a customer. As you know, working in the rideshare industry, a service that people often have an expectation of service, of communication, professionalism, kindness, and attentiveness. I really don't think these things are so hard to ask for when you're providing your ride service. I'm going to tell you about a trip that I recently took to New York and to Nashville. And to be honest, at both of these locations, I came across the exact same problem. And yes, before you get crazy, I'm guilty of it myself, but only very far few and in between. And the issue that's going to prevent you from getting more tips and you maxing out the amount of money that you can make from your rides is this. These plus this plus this. What am I saying? Stop talking on your phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you have a customer in the car, first of all, you're missing out on a perfect opportunity to engage with your ride. By you doing so, it'll probably help you make a better tip, make the ride experience a lot more pleasant, make your day go more quickly, and just not come off as a complete douchebag. You're a douchebag. <laughs> In the two locations I went to, New York and Nashville, I had multiple drivers talking on the phone the entire ride from the moment I got in the car to the moment I got out of the car. And believe me, I'm the first one to tip. I'm a driver, I completely get it, but not to the point where you're completely ignoring your customer. In all honesty, it doesn't take a lot to say, hey, how are you? How are you? Hi. How is your day? If you want to keep on with the conversation, great. If you're not a talker, no problem. But for you to ignore your customer in the car the entire ride and engage in your own private conversation, you, my friend, are an ass. And yes, I'm aware, there are emergencies. Sometimes things happen at home. Sometimes you get a text to say, hey, 911, pick up the phone. I get that. I would typically ask my customer and tell them, hey, this looks like it's an emergency call. Would you mind if I pick it up for a moment to make sure everything is okay? 99% of your clients are going to say, sure, no problem. We've all been there. But I actually had a driver be on speakerphone and have a group call on his speakerphone while I was in the car. It took everything inside of me not to kill him in the stars. But I know he wasn't being malicious. It's just how it came over. His complete disregard for me as a customer showed. And believe me, it pissed me off to the point where I wanted to show him how pissed off I was. So long story short, keep it simple. Keep it friendly. Smile. Jeez. Do some of the idle chit chat. Believe me, it goes a lot further than ignoring completely ignoring your customer. And by doing so, you'll max that tip, leaving that customer with a good feeling and a smile on their face. And hopefully that smile on their face will equate to a smile in your wallet. Let me know if you agree in the comments about talking on the phone. If you do it, why? If you don't, tell me about it. Has it helped you make more money speaking with your customer than talking to somebody on the phone? If you like this episode, make sure you smash the like button and absolutely subscribe. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, max your drive, and I'll see you soon. Peace.